Hey, what's up, guys? My name is uh, Anthony Dominguez. I'm gonna be doing a review on, you know, Clenbuterol, uh, T3, and uh, Winstraw, also Anavar. So, my experience using that, it's actually a pretty good uh, deal. Um, only thing is, of course, every supplement has its, um, its, you know, pros and cons. So the pros I'm gonna be going through right now is actually Anavar. Anavar is a very popular steroid. I personally take Anavar myself. You know, I usually cycle it for two weeks or a month. Since I take the oral version, it's a huge fuck up on your freaking liver. So, if you guys are not used to drinking a lot of water, I'll suggest not to take Anavar. If you guys also suffer from a lot of migraines or you guys smoke like me too, do not use Anavar. Trust me, because you'll feel more dehydrated and you'll feel more hungry. The whole point of Anavar is to make you get lean gains. You know, if your diet is shit and you're obviously eating a lot when you're dehydrated, Anavar is not the good thing for you. Okay, and in order to see more progress with Anavar, I'll suggest having a, a body fat between 15 or 20% body fat to actually see more results. Now, I personally stack my stuff with clenbuterol because I'm the kind of guy who doesn't want to be too big. I'm trying to be like that surfer body, you know, like model aesthetic look. Kind of like this. Fuck, brah, you know? So, now, clenbuterol. Clenbuterol is actually pretty good. I take the liquid version of clenbuterol. Um, so clenbuterol is is a very good supplement. I do recommend clenbuterol. Only con of clenbuterol is that it'll really fuck up your heart. You'll get a lot of heart palpitations, especially if you're like you know doing into like Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, uh, a lot of cardio. Yeah, it'll actually speed up your heart and you'll feel like more active. So, also, like again, drink a lot of water if you're on these kind of supplements because you're actually gonna feel a lot of dehydration. Um, Clenbuterol is a good stacker for like, you know, weight loss because it'll help you get that lean look. Plus, it's a hunger suppressant. So if you guys are not trying to eat a lot, you know, Clenbuterol is the way to go. But I'll suggest stacking, stacking it with the thyroid, uh, you know, substance, which will be T3, another popular SARM that a lot of people don't use because they don't know how to stack it, especially the oral version, you know. Um, you know, I'll now another su supplement that is very popular that I wouldn't really recommend, Winstraw. My experience with Winstraw was actually pretty bad, you know. If you're going to do Winstraw is more when you're really going to go for a competition and you're not going to be doing a lot of like you know heavy weightlifting because my experience with Winstraw was that like you know my knee joints my elbow joints and my shoulder joints when I try to lift heavy it hurt like a motherfucker I'm not even going going to lie to you you know Winstraw is it's very powerful you know you'll definitely see lean 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 gains you know but there's a saying you know, the steroid, when it comes higher the risk, you know, it's obviously more, like, you know, more convenient, you know. So, definitely Winstraw, I wouldn't recommend. Um, if you guys are actually competing, then, you know, it's good to take Winstraw, but I wouldn't recommend it at all. Because if you're doing a shit ton of heavy weightlifting, it will definitely fuck up your joints. And you're actually going to feel weaker than anything. And your muscles are going to hurt, too, with Winstraw. You know, and then the anabol, d -ball. I had my experience with D-Ball. D-Ball is actually a pretty good fucking drug, you know, a good steroid. You'll definitely get, like, you know, a good pump, you know, you'll feel stronger. And if you're trying to get, like, that, you know, this look or that aesthetic look, you know, like, that lean bodybuilder look, D-Ball is definitely the way to go. Um, I took the oral version of D-Ball. For me, I had a lot of good experience with uh, the Anabol. Um, it's really uh, strong, actually. With one pill, you already feel it. Now, another another drug that I, I also took, Tren. Tren is a very popular drug. It comes in two forms. Injectable 
and oral form. I took the oral form. I wasn't very familiar with uh, trend, but if you're actually going to take trend, I'll suggest you stack it with a, you know, test based because trend trend itself it kills testosterone. You know, and I actually started feeling like more migraines when I wasn't stacking it with, you know, like a test, you know, substance. Like right now, I'm actually not taking any like, you know, steroids because, you know, my liver's already fucked up at a young age. We're talking about me being 23 years old. I started doing these kind of shit when I was like fucking 17, you know, so it's it's pretty bad. <laughs> uh, you know, I wouldn't even suggest taking trend. You know, if you're trying to go for that bodybuilding look. You know, fuck it, you know, do trend. But if you're going to do trend, do the uh, injectable source. Do not take the oral source because you're actually going to have fucking migraines based from my experience. Of course, genetics are very different, so you might feel a different experience if you take the oral form. Uh, but I'll suggest taking the liquid form. Many people are scared because, you know, needles and shit. But I'll suggest taking that. It's better if you're actually trying to fuck with storage itself. Now, a lot of people usually ask me, I'm trying to use steroids. What would be the steroid that I should start with first? Actually, if you're really trying to use steroids, I'll suggest starting with SARMs because that's the closest thing to steroids. SARMs are not a steroid, but it's actually what's like, you know, sister to steroids. So I'll suggest taking SARMs first and obviously do your research first. Like, you know, look at videos like I did, you know, because what other videos are telling you, it's actually pretty true. I'm going based off, like, you know, other videos itself, and my experience using these kind of drugs. So if I were you guys, you know, do your experience first, you know, your research, and then if you want to fuck with these kind of drugs, then do it. You know, it's up to you guys. My name is Zephyr Lee. Hopefully you guys actually get something out of this video, Um, you know. If you guys actually have some good results, you know, message me uh, and I'll answer your more questions.